All right, welcome back, guys. We are going to jump back in with this Galia Gruel deck. Uh, it's an interesting one. I do think that it does have, uh, yeah, like kind of an interesting tech with the Galia. Um, I, I don't necessarily think it's the way to go, but I do think it's worth trying out. I think also a list where we're running um, four of them. Uh, I, I think that that's too many, but I do think it's worth trying out just so we can see the effects of, you know, how often we get this out and if it's if it's truly worth it. So uh, we'll certainly see. This isn't an amazing hand, but it does give us the Embercleave, so I'm going to keep this. And we will see what we can do. Um, actually, that's much better. So now we can turn one Pelt Collector, turn two, uh, probably Galia, uh, and then get him for... Hopefully four damage. We are against the mono red deck. We have not had a lot of luck against these red aggro decks. Uh, mostly just because, unfortunately, they're just quicker than us. Uh, which, obviously, is a reason not to play this deck. But I think, again, we might get to see it this game. I'd, I'd be really interested to see um, how this goes. Uh, getting a little bit extra card draw off of the Galia is very nice. Again, though, it just feels like there's more efficient things you could be doing. Like uh, light up the stage, for instance. Uh, comes to mind and I, I don't know we'll we'll see certainly see as we go through and uh, hopefully we can get uh, some interesting games in um, so yeah so let's do this we do not need a second ember cleave uh, we'll go ahead and attack here <clears throat> and we will pass the turn uh, Potentially blocking with the Preserver, we'll certainly see uh, what they end up doing here. Uh, if you did miss the first uh, round with this deck, we did release that yesterday. Uh, definitely suggest checking that out. I don't think we misplayed any of those games, uh, at least not too bad. Uh, but I do think um, they were not our best matchups. Uh, so I do, I do encourage you to watch that just to get a feel for the deck as well. We do... Uh, go over the deck in those first videos a little bit more so than we do in these. So uh, definitely worth checking out. But uh, I'm hoping we can at least get a win or two with it in this uh, this this time around. Um, I don't really think I want to be trading off here. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Um, this is one of those weird positions. Do we do we flash in the preserver to trade off for like the robber of the rich, uh, which would not be necessarily a bad idea, but we're obviously down a creature, um, or do we just try and flash it in so we can maybe ember cleave uh, the following turn? And I think I would normally go for the block play because that's kind of my conservative way of thinking. Um, I think here, though, we're not going to do that. I think we're going to try it the other way. Uh, that does give us the option to Ember Cleave uh, if we would like. So I do think it's worth it to, to try it. And they get a Pelt Collector. Okay. So they can play that Pelt Collector off of the Runaway Steamkin. We'll see if they want to get rid of those counters or if they just want to leave them around. Um, Runaway Steamkin is certainly a very, very good card in this deck. Bone Crusher. Okay. We'll go ahead and flash this in now then, since uh, they do not have any open mana. So we can't actually play this and Ember Cleave, so I'm going to. There's a very clear Ember Cleave here. There's obviously not... Okay, now it is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they just win. Yeah, unfortunately I should have counted before that, but uh, we are an aggro deck. We're going to take it as an aggro deck. Uh, that was certainly a misplay technically, but um, I really don't think we could have done much about it uh, long term anyway. I think we were in a bad place. So we'll give it two more games here. Uh, not been very impressed with this, but 
it is worth you know exploring new decks i think it's fun so hopefully you guys enjoy it if you have a deck suggestion please by all means uh share it down below give us a list we would absolutely love to see that uh anything you guys uh have in mind would be more than welcome we'll keep this <clears throat> temple of epiphany okay maybe a fire stack a lot of options there get a pelt collector in and um, we'll pass next turn probably just robber of the rich um golly is good too but we'll we'll see what they do Bone Crusher. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's get Stomping Ground out there. Let's get Robber of the Rich and see if we can uh, hit anything meaningful off of this. We do have to get more creatures out, obviously. Um, <clears throat> Just guy. Probably just Jeskai fires. Hmm. Not sure if I want to play this Stone Coil Serpent out yet. Next turn is when they could fires. Which is certainly not great for us. I'm going to go ahead and play this out. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll pass here. Okay, they do have the fires. That Bone Crusher Giant is very, very good. Do I take the opportunity here? I think I do. <clears throat> so here we do have the questing beast so let's go ahead and run this out i'm gonna attack with both here um if they want to eat that that's fine See what they can do. Three cards left in hand, but with plenty of ways in this deck to certainly get better stuff. Teferi is quite good. Teferi Bounce. Yep. And then they get one more play. This does not have Vigilance. Cavalier. Okay. Again, I think this is slipping away. Uh, I don't think, th this is the problem with this deck, it's not quite fast enough to get out from under any of these decks. I just don't think it's good enough. Um, I mean, we just, we just kind of lose here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede here. We can block, but uh, there's at this point, there's very little point, I think. Um, we'll give it one more shot. This deck has not been optimal, and that's okay. Uh, again, we're we're just learning new decks, trying new things, and as you know, we're not always going to win, so that's okay. Um, but this is why I would love to have some deck suggestions from you guys. A lot of these I find just online as like kind of silly uh, jank decks, which I think would be fun to play. But I'd love to get some more suggestions from you guys so we can get uh, hopefully a little more action going on. This is not good enough to keep, I don't think. It's so packed full of good stuff, but we just can't do it. Um, I mean, yeah, this isn't great either. Uh, we're actually going to put this... Yeah, we're going to put this land back. We'll play the green. Not going to play the stone coil on one. <clears throat> it just dies to too many things at one. I think you need to really get it at at least three if you can help it. So here's an interesting question. Do we do Paradise Druid with the intention of boosting uh, our mana for next turn, or do we just go Galia to start dealing some damage? I'm going to lean towards Galia here. That, again, 
might be incorrect. Uh, certainly, uh, in a normal deck, I would go Paradise Druid first because mana is generally way more important. However, this is a very aggro-focused deck, and I don't uh, necessarily think that's the interesting. Uh, that's the end-all be-all here, so... Okay, first things first, let's attack. If they want to block, that's fine. And they don't. <coughs> Not gonna worry about uh, Bone Crushering the Fibble Tip. <coughs> if they want to ping us for one, that's fine. Okay. Play the other one out here. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna do this now before they have the chance to ping one of the Paradise Druids. I think, yeah, they ping this. That way they can trade. <laughs> I think I play the Horn Beetle here. We're just gonna continuously commit a little bit more. Uh, do I want to attack here? Mm, I'm gonna pass. And again, this is where I'm not sure, this, this deck falls in such an odd place because I don't know if that's incorrect to uh, not attack or not. Wow, shatter, okay. Well. That's certainly not good. We definitely need a land here. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant coming down. That's certainly okay. And we will pass next turn, hoping to get a land uh, so we can Stone Coil Serpent for four. Uh, that would certainly be ideal. Um, I have to assume this is another like Fires style deck, but I don't know for sure. Bounce your fibble tip. Makes sense. <laughs> Tap land. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play that out. I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to attack them. They're going to block no matter what, so that's fine. Deals one damage to us. I'm gonna stone coil here for three. Uh, they may have another shatter here, um, but unfortunately I don't think we have that luxury of waiting. Um, but that way next turn we can Ember Cleave, uh, assuming we can get that out, so. Oh, actually no, we cannot Ember Cleave. Uh, thanks to Teferi. Interesting, interesting, okay. So here they can just shatter, uh, which is certainly not amazing for us. I'm going to attack. Oops, no. Go three here, four there. My assumption is they have shatter, yeah. So we do get to draw a card here, though. So let's Horn Beetle. And let's Stone Coil Serpent for two. We're a bit all in now, but we kind of need to get multiple threats out so we can start dealing with some of these guys, even if they play out like their Fibble Thip, for instance. Um, we just kind of need to be able to, to deal some damage here. This deck doesn't feel like it has great long game. Uh, I certainly overcommitted in the first episode of this deck. Uh, there was an instance where they I should have expected a Sweeper, and I did not. They did have it, and they wiped our board with no creatures left in hand. 
that was obviously just a, a gigantic misplay on my end, uh, which is very unfortunate, but does make sense. Um, so that was just kind of on me. I'm going to try and get rid of Teferi here. Uh, we'll see what they do. Well, I hope they're still there. They are. Okay. So drop to ferry down a little bit at least. We got to start dealing with these Royal Scions though. And this is the problem that aggro decks obviously run into a lot of the time. Is that uh, without... Uh, or excuse me, against quite a number of Planeswalkers, our focus is obviously torn. Uh, it'd be great to be able to just swing in at the opponent. That's what aggro decks want to do. Unfortunately, we can't do that right this second because obviously they've got quite a number of cards that we need to deal with on board. Uh, and so that is a bit of a struggle for this deck, I think, um, as is quite a number of other things. Uh, <clears throat> Glass Casket, going to probably deal with the Stone Coil. Okay, the Horn Beetle. That makes sense. Uh, that is the one that can grow. Uh, the Stone Coil Serpent gets around like to Fairy Bounce and stuff like that, but that's okay. Yep. Okay, Robber of the Rich is a card. So, let's get rid of to Fairy. <laughs> I don't have anything to target with that, but they can minus to it. So I'm going to do this. <clears throat> okay. Solid card. We also don't have much removal in this deck. Uh, interesting. Brimstone Trebuchet. Okay. This is such a weird deck. This is kind of jank. Mm hmm. We got fires of invention. Interesting. I'm gonna put it on that, but it's really not gonna matter too much. They got to ultimate the royal signs. We, I, I think we kind of had to take out Karn. Uh, got rid of the creature, but it also uh, keeps them from pulling cards from their sideboard, which would deal with what we've got anyway. They did not ultimate the royal signs, though they could have. Um, interesting. If they have an answer for the champion here, uh, we do just lose, I believe. I'm going to attack the Scions because this will get, uh, assuming nothing else happens, this will get at least a damage through, uh, which does mean if they want to ultimate, they do have to sacrifice the Scions completely. <clears throat> Also, you'll notice I'm really not caring about Tybalt. Um, I just don't care about Tybalt. Um, not a very exciting card. Yep. 
Wow. Very interesting deck, this. Um, not something I expected to see, uh, but that's okay. All based on the circle of loyalty. Okay, so they got another Royal Scions, sure. Well, not ideal for us. Yep. I think this is going to be it, guys. I think we just lose here. Oops. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised they played Fires of Invention at least that quickly. Hit for three. <laughs> well, good old Pelt Collector. <laughs> I mean, we're equipping this, but obviously this isn't going to... Nine, ten, eleven. So that's lethal technically. Okay, yeah, they got it. All right, well, unfortunately, two decks in a row that we have not won a single game with. That is very depressing. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think these decks are just great. Um, they're interesting. I think the, the, the first one that we played, so at the end of last week, if you didn't watch, we did play a Mirror March deck with uh, kind of a dragon theme. Uh, and it was actually really sweet, but we didn't. We got very unlucky on a couple flips, but then also just it was too slow. Uh, there were a million other decks that were just way too quick for it. Uh, and it was a jank deck. We knew that going in. This one I had a little bit of a higher hope with, uh, specifically because it did feel like it had a lot of the aggro elements that we want in this kind of deck. I mean, it's looking to deal a lot of damage. I certainly think this deck can. Uh, and I think at one point in the first video, we had a pretty strong board presence. However the sweeper incident happened and so that obviously kind of took us out of it i think um it's still just not quick enough i think there are a million other decks uh like that red deck wins is like the prime example but i even think there's a gruel deck out there that's just much faster than this one uh and so unfortunately i just don't think this is a good deck uh it was fun to play uh not there weren't as many like moments where i was like man this deck is really fun though there were a couple, but it wasn't to the point where I would have liked. So uh, I will go ahead and say uh, if I don't get an article up on this deck, uh, I would not necessarily suggest it. Uh, if you're interested in trying something new, certainly please do. But uh, I would not go after this deck uh, by any means. And maybe it's just some tweaking. So uh, if you could, if you guys do have some, some options or some ideas for tweaking the deck and maybe we'll give it another shot, please, by all means, uh, send them my way. I'd certainly appreciate it. But uh, I do think for me, that's this is this is a pretty dead one. Uh, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, as always, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, please do also make sure to check out our Patreon. Uh, we do have our new Patreon rewards for the month of April out right now. Uh, so you can certainly reserve yours uh, as 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 at any time that you would like through the month of April. So uh, we're going to do our best to send those out. I will go ahead and say uh, we went ahead and got the prints ordered. Uh, so that way they would have a month given everything going on. Uh, we wanted to make sure they had as much time as possible to get everything ready and sent to us so we can send it out to you. We will keep you posted if there is anything that happens that we, you know, for whatever reason causes us not to be able to send them to you. Uh, we will certainly take action to remedy that situation as best we can. Uh, we, we unfortunately don't know yet, but it is still early. We've got a lot of time. So I just want to make sure you guys were aware of the situation uh and uh please as always stay safe out there uh stay home make sure we're flattening that curve and uh hopefully you guys are enjoying some magic games while you're you're stuck inside so thank you again for watching guys i will see you in the next gameplay video